Hi, this is Carol from Taitra, and I am also the show manager of Energy Taiwan 2021. Today, I would like to take this chance to elaborate more about the renewable energy industry here in Taiwan, and it will include about the industrial developments and also the government policy as well. Furthermore, I will give you a brief introduction about Energy Taiwan, which is the B2B business platform which can help you to seize the business opportunity here. No matter you want to go into this market or trying to find a partner to cooperate with in the near future. So how's the renewable energy development here in Taiwan? So Taiwan is a small island with a central mountain range covering two thirds of the total area and also lakes of resources of, to generate the electricity. So according to Bureau of Energy, in 2020, Taiwan imported almost 98% of its total energy supply. Therefore, it is really important to stop relying on importing fossil fuels and be independent on the energy supply. So the, um, the development of renewable energy in Taiwan has gone through many phases, and the government's making policy according to some geographically advantages of Taiwan. So the first one is that according to the 4C offshore, 16 of the world's 20 most ideal wind sites are located in the Taiwan Strait. Taiwan offshore wind power has significant potential. So Taiwan also has high solar irradiance, which is good for generating solar power. So last summer, solar PV power generation in the country peaked at 2.3 gigawatts just one day, surpassing any of Taiwan's nuclear power plants due to the hot weather. So it is really a good environment to develop PV industry, which leads Taiwan become the second largest PV cell manufacturers. Besides, as tech giants go green, supplier must step up to their game. Taiwan is closely connected to the global manufacturing supply chain. So tech giants such as Google or Apple have joined the RE100, and they have com and made commitment to consume only renewable energy. So now their suppliers, such as those in Taiwan, have to use green energy during their production in the future. By 2025, the power generated by nuclear should be decreased to 0% in Taiwan, and renewable energy should be taken up to 20%. In order to achieve this goal, Taiwan government has made some changes regarding to the policy. In 2019, the government set a solar target of 6.5 gigawatts in cumulative install capacity by the end of 2020. However, a review of the progress in the installations of new PV system across the island during 2020 finds that quite a few solar projects were delayed due to the unfavorable changes in land use regulations and lack of distribution lines for grid connections. So now the government says that the previous targets will be reached later in the first quarter of 2021. Moreover, the government announced a new target of 8.75 gigawatts in cumulative install capacities for 2021. So various ministries and agencies will be working together to take inventory of the available land or space that can be used for the installations of PV systems. So places that are under consideration include roofs of the farms, manufacturing, and public facilities. So there are initiatives to install PV systems above the fish ponds, which is also called the aquafortex. Aquavortex will be built above major harbors and on the lands that are heavily polluted. So as for the offshore wind energy, the capacities of the wind farm is projected to be reach 5.7 gigawatt by 2025, accounting for 8.4% of domestic renewable energy. The overall project will bring investments of NT $1 trillion as well as 20,000 of new jobs to be expected. So while Taiwan is fulfilling the 2025 targets on schedule, and now we are planning for the next 10 year stage until 2035. So Taiwan Ministries of Economy Affairs plan a new target to develop a further 10 gigawatt of the offshore wind capacity between the 2026 to 2035. The energy plan is expected in the short term to solidify the industry foundations, and this effort will promote energy diversification and self-sufficiency spur domestic demand and job growth, and create a friendly environment for the overall energy development. So compared to 2019, the power generations of solar and wind grew steadily at 2020. Still, the major power generation here in Taiwan is from thermal power, which is something we can improve in the future. But if we break down Taiwan's renewable 
electricity by percentage. So during 2020, the renewable electricity percentage decreased a little bit compared to the last year. Because of the lack of water, so it caused a huge decrease in the hydropower. So if we just consider the solar and wind power, these two takes up around 4%, which is a huge increase compared to the last year. So from this data, you can see there are huge potentials of developing renewable energy here in Taiwan, especially in solar and wind power. So now I will briefly introduce about the PV supply chain here in Taiwan. Taiwan's PV industry from upstream to downstream of the supply chain is divided into five major aspects. So in the past, the silicon cell manufacturing was one of the Taiwan's major competitive advantages. And the market share was rapidly expanded with the foundry of the module. In recent years, with the rapid rise of solar PV production capacity of mainland China, the Taiwanese companies have extended their business model in, um, to include downstream module assembly. So such changes has resulted in a, a close alliance between battery and module manufacturers in Taiwan. So which allows them to quickly extend their business operations coverage to the fields of domestic and foreign system establishment projects. And Taiwan is now actively pursuing the development of the high potential offshore wind power sites. So in January 2018, the Industrial and Development Bureau issued the Offshore Wind Power Industry Relevance Implementations Program Proposals Structure Guide. So this goal is expected to drive the development of the local procurement market for certain components and creating the market demand for green energy. The goal is challenge, but with the right quality and competitive cost level, the Taiwan can meet its policy's objective to become an Asian offshore wind hub for the Asia Pacific, as offshore wind will grow dramatically here. So, so far, Taiwan has many excellent local suppliers working with the developers, and we expect that like, more cooperations to come in in the near future. So as you can see, the complete upstream industry lays a good ground for the Taiwan to achieve the supply chain localizations and reduce the cost for the developers. So from the figures here, you can see that every part of this wind turbine can find a local supplier to, uh, to complete the project. So how do we go into Taiwan renewable energy market? So Energy Taiwan attracts the most influential and uh, important buyers here. We offer a variety of advertising and promotion opportunities to help the industry professionals to achieve their goal. So we help you to maximize your business opportunities and seek the decision makers for you. And during the event, you can stand out in the crowd and highlight your new products and technologies. So while maximizing the media exposures, we help your branding and marketing as well. So Energy Taiwan is a comprehensive show in energy industry. It focuses on four energy themes, which are PV power, wind energy, hydrogen energy, and smart storage. And we offer a numerous business opportunities, from manufacturing to service with energy integrations. We believe that Energy Taiwan will give all the insiders a better platform for the networking. And this year, we have established more feature pavilions focusing on energy saving and management, circular economy, green finance, and renewable energy tradings. So Taiwan pay high attention on developing green energy, especially when Taiwan government announced the aim of the increasing the share of renewable energy to 20% in 2025. So Energy Taiwan last year, we attracted more than 120 exhibitors using more than 500 booths to promote their products and over 13,000 visitors to find a business opportunity in the show. So many Taiwanese PV companies such as AUO, TSEC, URE, Motec has joined the show for many years. And since Taiwan government took the green energy as a necessary development, Taiwan also attracted offshore wind developers and operators overseas, such as WPD, EMBW, CIP for further cooperations. So every year, attendees come to the Energy Taiwan to collect the market chain and establish the industry networking. So last year, under the COVID impact, the scale of the exhibitions still kept at 95% compared to 2019. 
So we make sure all the industrial media join the event every year to make sure to maximize your brand awareness during the events. And green energy is one important development here in Taiwan's government's 5 plus 2 industrial innovation plan. So it's an honor to have the Taiwan president to support our show every year and show the determinations on the energy developments here in Taiwan. So because of the COVID pandemic, we have changed the style of the procurement meetings. So moving it from offline to online. So last year, we have organized more than 55 online meetings to help exhibitors and buyers to build up business opportunities. So how to join us this year? This year, Energy Taiwan will be taking place from October 27th to 29th at Taipei Nangang Exhibition Hall 1. So we expected to have more than 150 exhibitors and 14,000 buyers to join us this year. So in order to conquer the difficulties brought by the pandemic, we have launched the Energy Taiwan Online, which is the virtual show alongside the physical show. So the online show will take about two weeks and provides all the exhibitors a 24-7 non-stop showcasing opportunities. So with multiple interactive areas, exhibitors can meet their global partners even with the border control right now. So this one is the Energy Taiwan Virtual Showground. And there are three advantages of joining Energy Taiwan online. So it is a flexible virtual exhibition. The two week long virtual exhibitions showcase your business and products and offering a 24 seven access to all the global B2B buyers. And it also provides a timely global business, uh, business interactions online. So networking platform that can help you build the relationship with new buyers and without the limitations of time and distance. And also we provide a customized service, which is TTS Match. TTS Match connects exhibitors and buyers, and we support your new business in a safe environment. And the virtual booth provides the following functions. So you can customize your own booth color or style, and you can arrange the meeting easily online. So the buyer could reach you either by the text message or the video chat. And you can display your product, your catalog on your virtual booth. And we have different package for you. So with every package, we make sure your company is to be exposed both like online and also on site. So this one is the digital corner we will be building on site. So we're the online show presence at the physical show to increase your brand awareness. And here is the exhibition video from the last year to give you a bigger picture of Energy Taiwan.因为台湾的光电业跟绿能逐渐在发展，那参加台湾的一个绿能的光电事业是一个非常重要的，去传达一些研发的精神及未来的产品发发展方向。就是说这次来参展的参展商，很多像太阳能发电，然后离岸风电
So if you have any further question regarding to Energy Taiwan 2021, please feel free to contact me through the contact info from this slide. And I hope to see you this October, no matter online or offline. Thank you so much.